Hi, YouTubers and watchers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Well, this morning we're going to have a shave with Vikings Blade New York 6 a.m. Shave Cream. This is a super slick shave cream. Very much in the mold uh, with uh, the Vikings Blade Sandalwood and Cedar that you've seen me shave with in the past. It has a beautiful fresh scent. And it is very, very thick in the tub. Yeah, beautiful fresh scent, very, very thick in the tub, and it is very, very slick on the face. It gives you a light, frothy kind of lather that uh, it's not thick, it's not a Santa beard kind of effect, it's light, it's frothy, but it is very, very slick. And it allows the blade to glide right across your skin. I really like these uh, super slick shave creams. We're gonna be using my Vikings Blade Vulcan long handled razor. This is a twist to open one piece razor. It has that beautiful patented head just like the Vikings Blade Chieftain. Not too mild, not too aggressive. I love this razor a lot. We're going to be using a razor blade I've never used before on camera. Uh, Permasharp. Permasharp. These are very sharp, nice and smooth. Made in St. Petersburg, Russia. First time on camera to use these, I believe. If if I recall correctly. Uh, to whip up the lather, we're going to be using my Vikings Blade Grand Chairman Shaving Bowl. Stainless steel, micro bead blasted, really a generous size, feels great in the hand. like this shave bowl a lot. We're going to be using my Vikings Blade Dark Stallion Badger Brush, natural hair badger brush. I like to use natural uh, hair shaving brushes when I use creams, when I use hard soaps and cropes, I like to use synthetic brushes. It, for me, uh, natural works better with cream and synthetic works better with the hard soap. So using a cream, I'm going to be using my Vikings Blade um, Badger brush. To finish it off, we're going to be uh, using my uh, Ozma Alum Block. Really nice. Wet this in cold water. Run around on the face. Takes care of uh, all those micro abrasions, knocks down irritation. And I'm going to finish it off with some Aqua Velva aftershave and perhaps upstairs a little bit of Nivea aftershave balm. So that's what we've got going on this morning. Really a nice combination for a great shave. So let's get to it. I'm going to put some hot water in my shave bowl. Okay, I got some good hot water in there. I'm going to take my badger brush and place it in the sink there and let that soak in. Okay, that's good. And while that's soaking, let's get our Permasharp razor blade. You just drop the blade in there like that and close it and that's it. You're good to go. Perfect alignment, perfect blade balance with the Vikings Blade Vulcan and the Chieftain and the Odin. Uh, I love these razors a lot. Okay, so I guess that's got it. So let this warm up a little bit. Let's let it soak up a little bit and I'll be right back to start the shave. Okay, so I just wanted everything to soak up a little bit, warm up a little bit. So let's go ahead and wet the face. All right, we're gonna take this hot water here and just dump that into the sink. Let's get my um, shave cream here. You don't need a lot, although I'm gonna probably try to do three passes with this shave. Usually with this shave cream, this razor, uh, and this blade, because I've used it this week, uh, I'm really good for two passes, and I've got a wonderful shave. But let's, let's just see how much shave cream we get for three passes with that much. So we're going to use that much. I'm going to put it in the bowl there like that. A little bit of remnant that I have on my finger here. I like to take that, we're going to squeeze the brush just gently and give it a little bit of shake or two. And I like to take that remnant and just place that in the bristles. You know, why waste it? Okay. So, here we go. Let's start to build a lather. We may have to add some water to this as we go along. But... With this shave cream, it's better to start <clears throat> with less water than more. And you can see already it's starting to 
get kind of frothy, but we do need to add water to this. No doubt about it, because you want it to be light and frothy. You don't want it to be um, like other traditional shave creams. This has a really nice light lather. So let's add a little bit of water to that. There we go. Oh yeah. You can see how it's getting nice and light and frothy. <clears throat> the first pass, the first coating will probably be a little, a little, um, I would say a little thicker than I want it to be. The second and third passes are usually spot on the money, but we'll see. It all depends on the amount of water that you put in here. Okay, so there it is. It's gonna get, you know what? It's deceiving. It's it's. It's deceiving. You get you see these little bubbles that you get in there. It's starting to uh, evaporate and break down a little bit. That's what you want. So that's what I'm shooting for here. I don't want it to be really, really thick. Okay, you know what? I'm going to wet my face once more, and then we're going to paint it on. I want that additional water on my face. Okay, so here we go. We're going to paint this on. You can see you get these little bubbles here. This is, this is right where we want, right here. Yeah, exactly where we want. It's nice and light and frothy. You don't want it to be thick. You can see it, and it's thin, and it starts to evaporate, but what it leaves behind is a really nice, slick surface which will give you a really beautiful, close, comfortable shave. I like to put it on. Yeah, this is this is perfect. You want to get that water in there to get this kind of consistency. Okay, so it's right about this time here that if you wanted to load your razor, you could load your razor right now because you want it to just sit on your face a little bit and just kind of evaporate and let that slickness take hold, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and heat my razor up here, really, really hot, hot water on both sides, and then I'm going to swirl in the sink to bring it to temperature. All right, you can see it's starting to break down a little bit. It's starting to become a little bit transparent here and there. Uh, it's a very, very thin coating. Um, uh, you'll see the second pass will be even a little thinner with the additional water, and that's great because uh, it uses that uh, slickness from the first pass to become even slicker on the second pass. Okay, so here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Really nice. Nice scent, nice fresh scent. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. 
All right, that was a nice first pass, very nice first pass. And the second pass, <clears throat> with this cream or any other cream, usually is the one that is the, what I call the money pass for me. It really just cleans everything up and I get a shave and I'm usually good for the office. Uh, there are some, some razors that are a little milder where I need a third pass and some razors, like this Vulcan, I just love to do a third pass because of the way it feels in the hand and uh, the angle of approach against the grain, really nice. But you can see here again that this shave cream is giving me additional slickness. Again, it's light and frothy. And this second pass is really going to do, uh, give me a really close shave. So that's it. I mean, you can see it's very, it's a very thin layer. The additional water on the face uh, helps to uh, thin the lather out a little more, but that increases the slickness. Okay, so we're going to go with our second pass east to west across the grain. And you can see how it's becoming really transparent, but it is very, very slick. There's enough slickness there for me to do a little bit of buffing there. And I love the Vulcan and the Chieftain and the Odin because the end tabs of the blade are enclosed. So when I'm flipping it back and forth, there's no, there's no hazard there of accidentally tagging my skin or my nostril when I'm turning it. Really nice. All right, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. Well, as predicted, I'm done. I do not need a third pass. But I'm going to show you how much lather I have here that if I want to do a third pass, I can do a third pass very, very easily. But I don't need a third pass because this, the slickness of the shave cream is such that it gives you a really close shave. Two passes and I'm done. All right, so I'm going to drain the sink. We're going to do my two final rinses, uh, one warm, one cold. I'm going to wrap this shave up. Boy, that was... Absolutely wonderful shave. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, here's my warm water rinse. And it does take some doing to get that slickness off your skin. There's a lot of slickness there, a lot of protection. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it to the cold side and do my cold water rinse now. Wow, very nice, very invigorating, and again, I uh, needed to do a little more rinsing. Uh, okay, nice, clash, nice, fresh, clean towel for me, right, right here. Wow, very nice, very, very nice. Boy, I tell you what, that's, a, that's terrific. That is really terrific. It is such a close shave. Wow, very, very close. Wow. All right, here's my Oz, my Allen block. We're gonna see what kind of feedback we get. We're gonna run it under some uh, cold water here and see what we get. No stinging at all. A mild zing or two here and there. But for the most part, just really nice, 
Very, very, very nice. So, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Really nice. We're going to dry this off and we're going to set it in our dish and let it air overnight so it'll be ready for my next shave. Now, while this is setting up, I want to mention something to you about Allen Blocks. The reason why I like the Osma Allen Block is because when you buy it, it's about this size here. It's cut from a solid block of alum and then they machine it down, which is really nice. Some of the other Allen blocks that are molded will dissolve over time. Now, here's an Allen block. Now, I use this on camera so you can see it because it's rather substantial. Now, for my daily shades, I've been using this Osma Allen block. And you can see the difference in size and how it's worn down over time. See that? See, you can, you can see how it's worn down over time. But the thing is, because it's a solid block, you know, this is what this is what you get as it wears down. It doesn't dissolve and crumble. It stays a solid block, which is really, really nice, which is why I like this brand of Allen Block. Of Allen block. So anyhow, we're gonna put that in to our dish there, along with my spare one that I use every day. And we're gonna set that aside, and that'll be, ready for the next day's shave. I'm gonna do a little cleanup and then we'll be back to finish up the shave. Okay. All right, I just like to dry my brush off and then towel off here a little bit. Give it some, give it a shake or two. And that's it. And then we'll just uh, take that and we'll just uh, Put on my razor stand. This is my Admiral razor stand from Viking Blade, along with my uh, razor and blade that I've cleaned and dried, my path dry. Let's set that right over there. Let that uh, let it air out, and then we'll be ready for the next shave. All right, so we're going to use some Aqua Belva to finish this shave off. Get a nice, uh, <laughs> probably got to get a nice delayed effect on that. Uh, Nivea, we're going to use Nivea for upstairs. Uh, okay, just a little bit. All right, it is winter. I like to moisturize up there a little bit. Could even use a little bit on this on my face, but I wanted to go with the Aqua Velva because yeah. It's starting to kick in. It is really starting to kick in now. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Nice combination. Great shave. Absolutely wonderful shave. Close shave. Uh, really, really terrific. Vikings Blade New York 6 a.m. Uh, a super slick shave cream. Gives you a nice, close, comfortable shave. The blade just glides right across. Uh, it's a thin, uh, semi-transparent, um, very, very slick kind of lather that's on your face as it starts to um, uh, evaporate. It leaves this really nice slickness there. And uh, you saw how much I used. I had more than enough for three passes, but because of the efficiency of the Vulcan razor with the Sharp blade, I, I didn't need to do three passes. Although I do like to do a third pass with that Vulcan razor. I like to do with the against the grain because of the long handle. This feels great. But uh, this morning, um, two passes, all I needed because uh, this stuff is really, really nice. I like it a lot. Again, you're not going to get a thick Santa beard kind of lather with this, but you do get a nice uh, thin lather that gives you a super slick coating. It gives you a lot of protection and the blade just glides across. I like it a lot. I really like these super slicks. I've been using this uh, most of the week, uh, last three, four days for sure, and I've gotten some great, great shades with it. All right, hey, thanks very much. That's all I wanted to mention to you this morning. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Um, please subscribe, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I um, upload a video. Please share this video with uh, friends and neighbors uh, near and far. Uh, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic trip George, other comic trips, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.